new videos every day. Hey guys, how are you doing today? I'm Chris from Right By Night. I'm here with some interviewing techniques and tips that can hopefully help you get that job that you're really trying to get. Maybe you've heard them before, maybe you haven't, but hopefully at the end of this you'll be refreshed with a bunch of tips and techniques to help you. Okay guys, so one of the first things, basically you get that call back, you get the email back, however it was you reach them. They reach you back, they say they want you to come in for an interview. You're going to want to go ahead and research that company, whatever that job is you are going to be interviewing for. You want to just realize what they want to hear or what they do and then play up your strengths. Say you are going for a computer type job, one of those computer jobs. Uh, you want to talk up, you want to research and then talk up how you have computer skills. Or say you're not a computer at all, waiting table job. Uh, then you're going to say how you're a people person. Have you had experience doing that? So basically, familiarize yourself, contextualize yourself with what they do, and then go in and talk up your strengths along those points. So the next step, you've familiarized yourself with it, and now you're going on the interview. Uh, go ahead and bring your resume and your cover letter, list of references, all that with you, even if you're not asked to. This is always good to have it extra in case they decide at the last second, oh, I lost your resume, where is it? You say, oh, here it is. Uh, and then coinciding with that, when you are interviewing, you want to make sure what you say matches all those documents you have with you. Uh, and that also goes hand in hand with selling yourself. You don't want to oversell yourself, but you do want to sell yourself on those points that you put on your resume or your cover letter. The third tip now. You're on the interview. Um, you familiarize yourself. You have your resume. Uh, presentation. Basically, and this sounds cliche is a little cliche but dress to impress it's an old adage it makes sense of course you want to look nice um, not going to a funeral you're going to an interview a little different but definitely you want to dress nicely and then along those lines with your presentation you want to be calm but confident you want to be relaxed and personable people want to hire people uh, be formal not too formal and basically you know courtesy is always nice um, the main thing is though keep your cool and just let your personality shine through appropriately. All right, guys, the next fourth point, while you're on the interview, uh, take that opportunity to assess your employer, the possible employer, the company. Do you really want to be there? Does it seem like a good fit for you? Uh, that's just going to help in the end. If they do call back and maybe have another offer, you just weigh and measure which one felt more right, which one felt better for you. Here's the last tip for the day, uh, once the interview's over. If you feel like you rocked the house or you didn't, don't let that get in your head. You had the interview, you never really know until you hear the words, you're hired, you're not hired. So basically, no matter how the interview went, you go back, keep looking, keep applying for other jobs, uh, just keep trying basically until you do hear those words, you're hired. And one other thing, go ahead and follow up with that interview. Write a thank you letter, thank you for your time, I'm available, you know, list the times you're available, even say, hey, I could come back at this point in time. Uh, basically, though, just keep trying until you do hear those magical words, you're hired, and then you can relax and start worrying about other things. In a upcoming future video, we will go over how to write a cover letter, tips on that. And in another also future video, we'll go over mixed media, uh, photography and literature, how the two interplay and can enhance your artistic expressions. Thanks for being with me today. It was a pleasure going over these interviewing techniques. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. There'll be more videos coming. If you have any suggestions or comments, feel free to leave them. And if you like what you heard and you want to hear more, go to writebynight.net. Thanks again, guys. It was a pleasure.